so it's pretty bad. What's going on YouTube? Back again, it's the Bratman. Today, I wanted to talk about the plow setup and the installation that I did. I did a really quick installation of this really cool plow. I was a little skeptical at first because I purchased this from eBay and I wasn't too sure, you know, for under 400 bucks, I wasn't sure of the quality, but believe it or not, the quality isn't bad at all. And, uh, you know, worked out really nice. This pivots. Really nice uh, setup. I hooked it up on a on the quickie fast end because I was in a hurry. So I, what I did, I just got some U bolts, and I didn't want a temp, I didn't want a permanent mount because I wanted to be able to remove this easily. So I just got some U bolts and a steel plate and bolted the winch up to the uh, the rack. And it works out really well because I just needed the winch just to lift this up and down. I was thinking about going with the uh, manual lever to move this up and down, but I kind of I didn't want to go that route because uh, it was a pain in the butt to, you know, I thought maybe the winch would be easier because they want, believe it or believe it or not, they want 170, 180 dollars just for the uh, for the manual lever. This was cheaper. This was a Badlands winch from Harbor Freight, which is actually incredible for the price. He couldn't beat it, but uh, I think it looks pretty bad on here. It looks really nice. It's a really cool setup. Fear no snow, said the brat man. And we also got the uh, Cub Cadet uh, 3X snow blower. It's got LED lights up here brand new still has the plastic on it but uh i have not done a video in a while because uh i got covid and i was sick with that just took my energy away so i had absolutely no energy and uh it felt like it just kept messing with me so i didn't feel right so uh it really knocked me out so that was a fun ordeal so i just wanted to share it with you of what was going on with this and how we did the uh, the setup here. We just made it quick and easy. I ran the power wires nice and neat underneath the, uh, along the frame rail into the back here. And then put the, uh, hook the wires up right here. I installed it to where it, it wasn't a permanent setup or I can remove it easily if I wanted to. So I didn't want to go crazy with the installation. And I just, you know, got some zip ties here just to put the uh, the remote for the winch. The switch is right here. So it's pretty bad. I like it. It's definitely mean. And for a two-wheel drive, ATV, I'm shocked because thing actually got it, got the driveway cleared out the last time we got snow. So I was out there hustling and bustling the snow out of the way. So, uh, yeah, nice setup here. Uh, very good quality. I would highly recommend it. I mean, for the price, it was just uh, shy of 400 bucks. Um, you can get it on eBay. If there's any left, I don't know, because there's a lot of snowstorms coming up. So who knows, man, with this weather. Uh, if they say we're getting a snowstorm, we get nothing. If they say, oh, it's not going to be a big deal, that's when the big snow comes. So we got all the bikes in here hibernating. Just a quick showdown of each bike. And a 500's back there hiding. And we have a little LT80. We just got this all finished up and buttoned up. Really clean little two-stroke ATV. So it's really nice little ATV there. Then we have the RM250, and I still have two other, or three other project bikes that are in pieces. An 87 Kawasaki uh, KX125 that I'm doing a full restoration on that, and uh, it's in pieces. So I'm gonna let you guys know that this is a, a definitely a good deal. So if you guys are looking for a plow, definitely grab one of these. The setup is, is really, really easy to do. I mean, the installation's easy. You just 
get your U-bolts, put the plate up on the frame. You just want to, if you have a TRX, you just want to mount it right in front here. Like, uh, you don't want it. I didn't want to put it under here because I was afraid of these U-bolts sliding around and hitting the engine mount. I didn't want to crack the case or anything, so I thought it would be safer up there. So you want to put it behind the A-arms. You don't want it, if you put it right there, that's a good spot for it. Gives enough room right here. But uh, the two-wheel drive quad does do the job. If you have enough momentum, you can definitely, you know, plow the snow. But I would recommend putting a passenger on the back because it gives you more weight. Plow with a partner. So get your girlfriend to hop on the back or whatever. Yeah, or you can put some cinder blocks back here for some weight. You know what I mean? And uh, I've been getting ready for snow because it, we have gotten snow up here and it's a pain in the butt. So, yeah, I would highly recommend this setup. And it's like I said, it's very easy to, you know, to install this. It's nothing really to it. Uh, the only problem is the winch, finding a spot for the winch. Because you really don't have too much room in here. You could probably put it right here, but I really didn't want to go that route because... I don't know if I was gonna hold on to this quad or, or not. I'm not really sure. So I wanted to make it reversible. You know, I didn't want to do anything permanent. I didn't want to weld any brackets. Once you start welding stuff, it, you know, becomes more permanent. So, but yeah, I just want to let you guys know. So uh, I'll be back soon with some more videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Peace and hair grease. See ya.